Cassie from A Life on a Dime and today we are in my kitchen again and I'm going to be going through a DIY with you. So let's get started. Okay, so today I am making a half batch because I only have one ice cube tray to make one set of tablets or pods. I wanted to make sure I liked this. So what we're going to do is we'll need one cup of washing soda. I will need a quarter cup of citric acid, and I have Let Me Shine citric acid that I'm using today. Um, we'll need a quarter cup of distilled white vinegar, a little bit of Castile soap, and I'm doing a cap full of Thieves Household Cleaner because it cleans really well, it's plant-based, it's safe to use in your dishwasher. So, I'll go ahead and start measuring. Soda. I need a quarter cup of citric acid. And I have been using this combination in my dishwasher while I waited to see what ice cube trays I wanted. But there's the citric acid. And then I need a quarter cup of I'm going to add a cap full of the Thieves Cleaner. And my Castile soap. Need about half a teaspoon, teaspoon. I'm almost out, so I'm going to put the remaining stuff in this. I love Castile soap. I make hand soap with it. I mix my body wash with it. I make face wash with it. Comes in really handy. And it's really good for your skin, too. Okay, so I just added my... Thieves Household Cleaner, and now I am going to mix this together. And you can also add, if you don't want to use the Thieves, but you do want essential oils to clean. So after this gets mixed up, you pack it into the individual trays. You want to make sure it's fairly compact, so you squish it down. I've pretty well got this packed in here now, and I'm just going to put the lid on it, and then set it down for 24 hours to dry. Okay, so here's where a lid comes in handy. If you do not have a lid and you get silicone, which silicone is good because you need something flexible, but as you can see, it can be hard to handle without the lid, but here's what it looks like. Okay, so I'm going to leave this in the windowsill to dry. Okay, so I've got it in the windowsill. I've got it setting up. It needs to dry out so it will form the hard capsules and I'll check back in on it in 24 hours and we'll see what they look like. So it's been 24 hours and now we are going to check on our tablets. Okay, so 24 hours later we're taking them out and you have to be careful taking them out because they do crumble fairly easily. But you go. You have nice compact little cubes to fit in your dishwasher um, detergent tray. And the ones that are a little crumbly, that soap's still good too. So I would call this a success. Okay, so here is the finished product. Um, my advice when you're taking them out of the cubes, it's important not to squeeze. Push up from the bottom, don't squeeze. And I highly recommend silicone because I don't think I would have gotten anything solid if I didn't. And just remember, the links to the blog post as well as ingredients are going to be down in the description below. So please 
like and subscribe and if you try this um, let me know in the comments how it goes and until then stay frugal my friends